Skill 4 I covered before when we do the basic shapes. If you recall, skill 4 is to do perfect shapes, and that means holding down shift as I draw. So if I draw the ellipse, I hold down shift and create that circle. Skill 5 is, um, is how to create uh, basic shapes with exact measurements. So if I take this rectangle and I click once, instead of clicking and dragging, I'm able to type in my measurements. So I can make a three inch wide rectangle that is two inches high. Now you'll notice the style on it is a red fill with a 10 point bright green stroke because that's what I was using in my last lesson. I can press D on my keyboard to go back to my default if I would like or I can change it to other fills and other strokes. Now typing in measurements also gets interesting when we go to other tools like the polygon tool. I click once type in the radius of my polygon, how wide I want my polygon to be, and tell it how many sides I want. So I can do a four inch octagon, for example. So I can make a stop sign if I need to do that. Um, other tools have the same kind of options. If I do a star, click once, and instead of doing a general five pointed star like we might see on the US flag, we can change this to, let's say, two inches by half inch, and then let's give it Let's give it 10 points here. I'm going to go up to 10 and click OK and kind of get this blast mark sort of star instead of that standard five point star that we might be used to. All these things again can be styled with fills, can be styled with strokes and gradients uh, as we see fit.